I had gotten too bogged down and scared of the unfamiliar vocabulary in many passages and I had failed to really even read what the passages were saying. Hi everyone, my name is Natasha. Today I'm going to tell you about how I balance preparing for the MCAT with my full-time job and how I ended up surpassing my goal score to end up getting a 517. I originally wanted to take my MCAT in May of 2021, but after taking AAMC's full-length exam one, scoring under a 124 on all of the science sections, I decided in March to push my MCAT until August 13th and focus on fostering a healthy mindset before beginning the studying process. Even if it seems counterintuitive, taking some time off will definitely help you score better and do better overall. In May, I was fortunate enough to have four weeks to jumpstart my MCAT prep, or so I thought. I attempted to use this time for an intensive content review using the Kaplan book set. When I read through the psych Soch book, I made sure to put all of the important terms into my own Anki set using my own wordings for the definition of each term. I also took every single end of chapter practice problem set, but by the end of those four weeks, I had only really gotten through the Kaplan psych Soch book and just started the chemistry book. I knew that I would never cover all the content I needed by my test date if I continued to study at that rate. That was a strategy I had used for all my pre-med courses and it had worked fine. I just didn't know how to handle so much content, so much information being tested on just one day. But in June, I began working in my clinical research job with a 40 hour work week. I struggled to balance both MCAT prep and adjusting to my new schedule. Eventually, it just became too much to handle and I left my MCAT prep materials completely untouched. I really struggled with just getting started on studying. It was really counterintuitive. I was ashamed of how little I had prepped and that made me want to study even less. If you're feeling down and stuck in your MCAT prep and if you feel totally lost and in need of help, sign up for some one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions on MCAT Mastery site to work with me or another tutor who really cares about your success. Now that I'm done my exam prep, I know how silly it was of me to feel like that. And doing poorly during test prep has no indications on your actual abilities as a student, test taker, or your worth as a person. Snapping back into the moment and decided to start doing practice questions instead of just dry content review. That way, I might be motivated to actually start preparing instead of just worrying about it. So I began to use the AAMC resources. If you're worried about the cost, reach out to either your university's Career Ready Center or you can enroll in the AAMC Fee Assistant Program to help you cover that cost. Once I got into that AAMC prep bundle, I started with the question pack. These instantly helped me realize that I needed to improve in bio biochem content. I began reading through the bio biochem chapters in the Kaplan textbooks and focused my time on what they deemed high yield. I also bought a UWorld subscription and began drilling extra questions in the topics I struggled with the most. This helped me explore specific topics I needed to review most. For example, I remember I desperately needed to review enzymes. I just couldn't understand which one did what and I drilled it every day for a week, and I think I can still tell you exactly what that flashcard said word for word. Three weeks after I had restarted prep, I decided to take my first fully prepped full length exam. I got a 509, which was shy of my goal score of 515. By the next Saturday, I had improved my score to a 511. Though I was ecstatic with score increases, I realized I needed to change my test taking strategy. In both the psych Soch and bio biochem sections, I realized many of the answers I missed were simply found in the passage. It was almost as if I had forgotten how to read a passage as soon as I clicked off the cars section. I decided to spend the week practicing close reading and passage analysis during the science sections. My score jumped six points in one week to a 517, but I wanted to make sure it wasn't a fluke. With less than two weeks out from my exam date, I made sure to scrutinize every single problem I got wrong and every single problem I felt I had guessed on. Of course, this time period was also my final week at my internship, so I was putting in extra hours at work to perfect my final project. Balancing these two was extremely stressful, but I learned to lean on support from my family and my closest friends to help me power through. I really recommend tell people, share it with your friends, share it with your family members, be vulnerable and explain what you're going through, and that will help you immensely, just like it did for me. Six days before my exam date, I took the AMC sample test. Once again, I scored about a 517. After receiving these two high scores in a row, I knew I had it in me to do well on the real exam. Through my entire exam prep, 
I also made sure to do at least one fun activity with family or friends every single week. This helped me stay focused on the things that really matter in life. The night before my exam, I was really lucky to have the opportunity to have a big pasta dinner with my mom and she told me how proud she was of me with how much work I had put into my score and how much work I had put into learning the content and even if I didn't end up scoring as well as I had on those practice exams, I put so much of my time and energy into that exam and I was proud of what I had done. When my score came back one month later, I was so excited to see that I had gotten a 517 on the real exam, just like my last two FLs. Looking back on my study methods, I realized how ineffective my initial content studying was. I love to share these tips with my students to remind them that anyone can score well on the MCAT if they approach the exam the right way. Thank you so much for watching today, and remember that you have what it takes to crush this exam.